What's up, guys? Back on the football field, so I thought I'd be productive while I'm waiting for my son to crush his workout. Um, this one is for those of you struggling with living your life. And what it got me thinking about this was I shared a video on my Instagram, my reels, um, with how important it is to show up every single day for the purpose of experiencing joy in your life instead of waiting on the end result. And the example that I was thinking of, you know, when we use social media, sometimes we just, we got to get the angle right and we stand sideways and we hold everything in and then we snap the picture. I'm like, oh, okay, finally I can post. Like, but if we were to go outside or go to the store, like anyone who would see our post would see us in real life and see, oh, she's got some jiggle. She got a booty. She's got some belly. Like, and they wouldn't say anything derogatory to us because they'd be more interested in looking us in the eye and having a fruitful conversation and asking us about how our family's doing and what's in our cart and oh, what kind of recipe and what are you making for dinner? And so I don't understand why for so many, it still doesn't translate that it should be the same to be your authentic self on social media. And I fell victim to it, right? So when I first started using social media, I could only post if I looked a certain way, if I was perfect. And then what started happening is I noticed like it was so laughable. I was teaching my live classes and I wouldn't dare go into the gym without a tank top on or a shirt covering my body. I've had four C-sections. I've been pregnant six times, stretch marks, loose skin. So I wouldn't dare do that. But in my journey, my at-home fitness journey and inspiring men and women to start their journey at home, especially those who just felt lost because they live nowhere near a gym, they don't have the money to pay for a personal trainer, what the hell are they supposed to do? So starting that journey and helping those men and women realize that, oh my gosh, like there, I matter too. And there is something effective and impactful that not only I can do from home, but I can encourage my husband or my wife to join me. My kids can join me for the, all the different programs that are offered. But when I did those workouts and I, I shared, was I wearing a shirt? Was I wearing a tank top? No, I wasn't. And it was kind of twofold. Number one, I'm lazy. Um, and so I wanted to show up. This is authentically who I am is I'm a minimalist when it comes to being at home. You know, I'm shorts, tank top, walking around like that half the time in my flip flops, of course. But also I didn't want to have to do laundry. Um, so I might as well just sweat in my authentic true self. And so when I started thinking about that, like how back asswards is that is I won't show up in a gym setting unless I have everything covered up and I feel like I look just right to be an instructor and stand in front of everyone as this role model. But yet they will all go back to their car and go home and they'll see Coach Duana like showing her belly and her rolls all over the internet. So it's like, what the hell? So I think it was either my last year's birthday or the birthday before. I'm like, I'm going to wear whatever the hell I want. And I did. I rocked sports bra and my shorts or my pants. And it was so freeing, so freeing. And so this message is really to remind you, like, nobody can fire you from life. And the freedom that we experience when we finally step into our power and we take back all of the little notes of permission that we've been handing out to other people to let us experience joy in our life, to let us experience our best self and that's why I wanted to jump on and encourage you guys to remember that, that you are all you need to validate who you are. You are all that you need. You are more than enough. And the moment that we realize that, and it doesn't happen overnight, it takes time. But the moment you start thinking about why you go on the internet in the first place, what are we looking for every single morning? If the first thing we do is pick up our phone and we start scrolling, what are we looking for? And for me, what's helped me is to make sure that when I'm on social media, besides growing an amazing team, adding value to everyone who follows me, sharing authentically my journey and my life in a really, um, in a way that not just inspires, but also helps people who are struggling connect with, with the parts of me that are struggling as well. And together making the world a better place because we stay united through the good times and the really, really hard. Um, I hope this reached you today. And if it did, let me know. Um, share with someone that you know is struggling and just needs that little boost from Coach Duana today. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you guys later.